Okay, hi everyone. Thanks for um, taking some time out of your afternoon. Take a look at Starship for Acumatica. We're super excited to um, show the um, Acumatica integration. You know, we've done integrations in other spaces for a long time and have had quite a bit of interest with Acumatica. So I'm um, excited to um, get into the community. Um, okay, so um, you should see the Starship screen right now. Um, this is going to be the user interface for the shipper. Um, so this would replace a carrier supplied system that they may be using, and it's going to give them direct access to their Acumatica data. Um, so I've already um, set up my company connection here um, to connect over to Acumatica shipments. You also will have ac quick access to sales orders or customers, so you can quickly change the source document from the screen if you wanted to um, select a different source. Each of these source documents does have its own set of field maps and translations. In addition, Starship does support um, connecting to various Acumatica companies. Um, so if you have different locations um, and you want to set up different mappings for each of those, um, you can do that. Even if you want to have different warehouses, you could do that as well. So, and then this is, I have one company connection here. But if you had multiple connections, you would see those in the drop down and be able to switch back and forth if needed. Um, this is um, the shipment. So I'm on my Acumatica shipment document type here. So I'm connected to Acumatica shipments. Um, I can browse. I can scan in the shipment number that I want to um, ship against. I can type it in if I wanted to. Um, basically, Starship is going to um, go out to Acumatica and retrieve um, my open shipments that are available for this company. I also have the ability to add filters if I wanted to here. So if I really wanted to filter my view down, I could do that um, using the filters. I'm just going to select one here and bring it up. Um, Starship right now is going out to Acumatica. I'm actually connected to um, the Try Acumatica site here, um, where it's uh, hosted by Acumatica, the sandbox site. So it's going out there. It's getting the data. And it's going to um, translate all the fields that I have accessed, um, bring it up on screen, um, and allow me to ship that. Now, when I bring it up on screen here, you're going to see um, in this left-hand pane is going to be a preview of the header level detail as it's been brought over and translated from my document. Uh, so my um, billing or my uh, carrier and service is being translated. Billing can be translated, sender as well as the recipient. Starship also has the ability to um, do an address validation. So I can click this button manually like I did right here. I can also um, have the validation happen automatically once I retrieve the shipment from Acumatica or once I process the shipment. And you'll see um, the address has been standardized um, and it's validated zip plus four as well as commercial residential. Um, Starship does have a couple levels of validation, so it'll use the post office for ZIP plus four. Um, and then it'll also validate with both UPS and FedEx for that residential commercial checkbox. Um, since both of those carriers, there's really no um, commonality behind making sure that it is residential. Um, it's real, I think the uh, driver is able to define that on their side. Um, so in order to make sure that the residential checkbox is accurate, we will actually send out some separate um, transactions for those two carriers. So the header level information is coming here. Now if you take a look at the packaging view at the bottom, um, you'll see a couple of boxes. Now um, what I've what I'm using here is um, a feature in, inside of Starship called Packaging Scenarios. It's really um, useful if you have case packs where you have an item that may be boxed up in different ways based on quantity. Um, so I've set um, Starship to use my packaging scenarios here. Um, and these, so because this order has a couple of items on it, these items have been um, boxed up. Now I can drill into my item here and um, you'll see the information about this particular item. So I have my class associated to this item. Um, and if it were an LTL, I could have an MSC code subcode associated to this item. Um, so in addition to um, packaging it up, now if I go back into my package view here, 
you'll notice that I have my dimensions. This is really important, especially with all the changes that the carriers are putting in, in place um, with regards to dimensional weight and the cost. So you'll see here that I might have an actual weight of 8.5, um, but my build weight is going to be 9, which is just around. Um, but based on my package, um, you know, my build weight might be quite a bit different. So for instance, with this air hockey table here, um, my actual weight is 7 pounds, but my build weight you'll see is actually 63 pounds because of these dimensions. So um, having the packaging inside of Starship um, really can help you make sure that you're getting um, accurate rates that are being calculated and going back into Acumatica um, or accurate rates that you're using to determine carrier and service. So speaking of rates, I'm going to just run a rate shop here. So I can click on this little rate shop um, icon at the top of my menu bar. Um, Starship will go out to the various carriers that I have loaded in the system, and it'll request um, rates. Now, um, Starship is in real time requesting rates for your particular accounts. So if you have negotiated rates with the carriers, you will see those. Um, if you've negotiated volume-based discounts, those will also come through. So you're looking at the most accurate rate to get your packages out the door. Now, um, when I brought this over, this, this shipment originally um, got translated as UPS ground. Um, but I ran this rate shop here, and you can see that I can go priority mail and get it there um, several days earlier and pay half as much. So maybe I want to select post office priority here. Um, Starship can also, as I mentioned earlier, um, you can use the ship via rules to automate this process that I'm just showing you manually here to pick priority mail um, in this instance. So I'm going to go ahead and select priority mail. Um, I'm going to do my ship in process here. I could also hit, click F5, and it'll um, Starship will process it. Now, I'm getting a little um, message here just saying I have a low postage balance. So um, Starship's actually, with the post office, uh, your postage that's getting printed on your label is live um, currency. So I've got to add some postage here. Starship will allow you to add the postage. I can add you know, $100 here and or whatever I want to. And now I have enough to actually complete my ship transaction, which is going to cost me $33.90 here. So once Starship um, processes the shipment with the post office, it's going to then generate my barcoded shipping labels. It's going to write back to Acumatica in real time. This is an example of um, a label that's going to be printed. This is what we call our smart label. It's a combination um, shipping label plus packing list on 8.5 by 11. And then this area here is kind of a die cut. Uh, Starship also supports printing these labels to a thermal label printer. So you could print the shipping label followed by the packing lists um, for any one box to the thermal label. And then you'd have at minimum two labels per box. So you could just stick the shipping label on the outside and then put the packing list on the inside. And I'm also displaying these on screen here uh, just because you don't have the label printer um, to show. Um, but typically, these are going to print directly out. Their shippers aren't really going to see the, the label um, displayed. It's just going to print out to the label printer or to the thermal printer. OK, so now that it's been processed, let's go back into my Acumatica shipment and see what Starship updated. Minimize this guy. So if I go into this shipment 846 here, a um, couple things. You'll see my packages have been updated. So here are my two boxes um, with tracking information. Um, Starship does have reverse value translations. So the first time you process a shipment, if um, the translation for unit of measure or box ID isn't um, defined, Starship will give you the ability to define it. It'll remember it. So the next time around, it'll just automatically update it for you. On my shipping settings, my ship via is going to be updated <clears throat> with the right ship via based on your translation. 
and my freight cost and freight amounts can get updated. Now the freight amount um, is going to or can include a customizable handling fee using freight rules, sorry. So freight rules, like I mentioned earlier, is just a way for you to define how the freight is calculated. And in the freight cost field, this is going to be then the cost of the actual postage. So you'll be able to see and run reports on that through Acumatica. In addition to that, um, Starship can update the notes here. And this is all user definable as far as what you want to see in your note field. It's just going to give you the ability to put some added detail here um, so that you can update that. You can also update um, the status to confirm if you wanted to. And that's another thing that you can update. And then the shipment date can also get updated. So the other things I wanted to show you from a Starship perspective, um, we talked about email, notification, and dashboard. So I'm just going to bring these up so you can see what that looks like. Let me log in here. Um, this is an email viewer, uh, which is really a way to manage your email. Usually our customers will have the emails go out automatically. But since this is a sample, I really don't want to do that. Uh, so I'm just going to go in my email viewer and take a look at the email that was generated as a result of that shipment. So a couple things here. Um, the email address that it's sending to um, it, it can be mapped in from Acumatica and can be defined then. Um, you can define any Starship field to be an email field um, that it will be sent to. Same with the um, CC and BCCs. Um, the subject, you have um, total control over what the subject says. Um, it can include variable fields. So in this case, it was a shipment that I shipped against, but I put my order number here um, as the order number um, that might be more relevant for the customer. Maybe you want to put a PO number there. And then in the body of my email, then um, I have my logo. Um, as well as all the tracking information. Um, and what's nice about this is we can include the item level detail um, for this shipment so that your customers can know exactly what was ordered and what was shipped and included in this particular shipment. Now you'll notice here that my air hockey table quantity shipped is one. Um, so Starship brought in the quantity shipped um, from that shipment that was defined already in Acumatica. And then you can put um, links to your website, um, promotional codes, and then the tracking numbers will automatically be linked to um, the carrier so that your customers can go directly back to the carrier to track it. And then hopefully that will reduce the number of inbound customer service calls that you may be getting um, asking, you know, where's my package, where'd it go. These um, emails can go out in real time, meaning as soon as the shipper processes the shipment, uh, the email can go out um, instead of waiting until the end of the day when you know the carrier picks up. Also with the templates, you can define any number of templates, and then you can create rules on when the templates are used. So if you drop ship for someone and you want to have your uh, customer's logo show instead of um, your actual company logo, you can do that and have different verbiage in that email. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was the dashboard. This is just basically giving you a view into the Starship data, um, allowing you to drill into any of the um, shipments and uh, look at the details of that shipment. So may want to go in and look at my UPS shipments um, and then drill into all those shipments. This can also be useful when you're negotiating um, with the carriers so that you can um, see you know, how many shipments you've done with the various carriers and get information on that. Okay. Um, I think that's all I had for the demo. <clears throat> now, 
maybe what we should do now is take it back to Kathy and you can let me know, Kathy, 